Oh, this. Yeah, th this is not a pink elephant, but what we are going to be talking about is the big pink elephant that's usually in every room that I walk into. <laughs> Boobs. Okay, so I'm just going to talk for a little while about literally things that go on in my life, okay? <laughs> Having big boobs is not always fun, you know? You remember watching like Baywatch? Pamela Anderson, yeah. Um, well, <laughs> the idea of having boobs for me when I used to watch shows like that, maybe I shouldn't have been watching them. So basically was this woman, this sexy woman running down the beach, you know, slow motion, these boobs just like swaying in the wind gently. That is not the reality of having big boobs. If you don't have big boobs, I think that you just don't understand. Honestly, I know that everybody has their own struggles, but I just need to let you guys know that even things like running, running can be a traumatic experience. Running is going to be an issue. Yes, you can put on a sturdy um, sports bra, whatever it is. I've tried sports bras from every single brand. If there's a brand out there that can actually tell me a sports bra that is going to hold these bad boys in place for how, how I like them, I need to know because I've tried Nike, Adidas, Fabletics. I've tried um, just your regular ones from, you know, like your pretty little things and stuff like that. Those, they don't always hold you in place. Imagine having two watermelons hanging over your shoulder as you're trying to run. As a man or even as a woman that has smaller boobs, just try to understand that. Because the first thing that a lot of people say is, why don't you try and lose weight if you want to lose some of your boobs? You know you lose it because it's fatty tissue as well. I completely understand that. But can you understand that there are genetics that actually take place in a lot of women that have bigger boobs? Some women that haven't had enhancements, that have slim, slimmer um, shapes and have big boobs. It's a genetic make makeup for some people. I've lost a lot of weight and yeah, I have lost some of my boobs, but actually I haven't lost all of them because it's just who I am. The other thing is going to the gym. When you go to the gym with big boobs, you can decide to wear like a big t-shirt or something like that. You're not gonna stop the looks, the stares, okay? And I know for, for men that are in the gym, sometimes you don't, you're not even aware of what it is that you're actually doing when it comes to like looking at women, but it can be quite uncomfortable, you know? Um, especially if you're just coming there to do your thing quickly and leave. Sometimes as a woman with big boobs, you just don't want to go. You don't wanna be on the treadmill, you know, as you're running every single, <laughs> every single step that you make your boobs are going to be moving and it's going to draw attention and that is one of the things that actually stops me from going to the gym i know it might be a cop out for some but for me that's my reality and i just have to share that with you the other thing is understanding as a woman with big boobs the pains that you are going to be feeling you are probably going to feel pain in your shoulders because it does cause an indentation like bra straps and stuff can cause indentations in your arms anything that doesn't have like a really wide strap is probably going to cause indentation and some of those things actually are permanent so you'll see that you'll notice that some women have like scars from their bras or they have like permanent indentation from where their their um, boobs are actually just um heavy natural muscle to to disintegrate in a way so that is not cute but you have to understand that that is a pain of having big boobs sometimes it's not always great fun even things like when you're on your monthly cycle as a woman most women's boobs will swell they they, they might become tender and sore it just i don't need any extra swelling <laughs> like we got enough we got enough going on here so even things like that can feel a little bit more intensified when your boobs are bigger clothing can we just talk about the fact that even women have had big boobs since the beginning of time and the fashion industry still to this day has not really catered for in the way that I feel like is acceptable women with bigger boobs so you've got women that are curvier so I fit quite a few different categories so I've got curvier shape okay they've started to make clothes for curvier women fantastic but women with bigger boobs wear a whole different category the way that those particular clothes have to be cut is it's different if I want to just wear a simple button down blouse or shirt whatever you want to call it that is a minefield okay that there, there isn't a company yet that has really got this right in terms of the fact that I want something to fit my arms fit my waist which isn't the size same size as my boobs and I want it to look cute. I want it to button all the way up. I don't want it to, ha to have like these gaping holes in the middle because you can see my bra, my boobs. It just doesn't look like it fits well. Oh, 
it can be so irritating. Sometimes you'll end up having to wear one of those button down shirts and have it a little bit open. Now we've got cleavage. In a workplace, you're gonna be seen to be doing way too much. It looks unprofessional, it doesn't look right. But it's my body and it's the way my body is and I can't help what the fashion industry are not doing for me as a woman. Even trying to get a jacket, I'm gonna to have to buy my jacket probably at least two to three sizes big enough, bigger than my size of my hip, my, my waist, my hips, everything else, because I need it to zip up, especially in the winter when it's cold, I need my jacket to zip up, but it's not gonna zip up unless I buy my jacket two to three sizes bigger. You know your, your friends that have like the average size boobs, I'm talking to bigger, big, bigger boobed women here, they might forget to buy their bikinis maybe like the day before you're flying out somewhere. And they're just going to run down to the to the local high street, right? They can probably get something in there. They'll buy it quickly, come home. Huh. If I haven't bought my, my bikini at least two to three weeks prior to my holiday, I might as well forget it because there's a process here. I need for my bikini to come in the post because it's probably going to be coming from a particular brand that actually stocks my size. I need to make sure it's the right size and that they stock it. I need to make sure that I try it on. I need to have time to send it back because I might need to reorder it. And I need to make sure that it has a stress test, okay? We do do stress tests. And that means that I need to be able to walk or maybe just do a, a light jog and my boobs are not gonna be falling out. It is actually stressful. People don't understand. It looks so nice and cute and things like that. But actually, boobs can be a lot of work. We hear the same things over and over again. Probably in the comment section, you can put some of the things that you hear when you have big boobs, but these are the questions that I get asked or things that I hear all the time. What size are your boobs? How have your boobs got so big? Have you ever, as as um, a lady with big boobs, told somebody your um, cup size, because, you know, they've asked, and then they start going through the alphabet, like A, B, C, D, and I'm like, yes going through the alphabet right in front of my face to find out how big my boobs are like that is that's not okay like we should be used to the fact that some people's boobs are a h or a j or even a k like it does go up people need to just kind of get over it that's just how it is okay as a woman that has big boobs you don't just want to be like that's the only thing that you have to offer, if you see what I'm saying. Like, um, just because my, I wear a low top, somebody who's got smaller boobs may also wear a low top, but they don't get classed in the same kind of way. It looks like you are doing more than somebody who has the same clothes on as you, but they have smaller boobs. And I've always found that quite unfair. I don't care. I know people say, you should dress for your size. You shouldn't be wearing this, you shouldn't be wearing that. Well, first of all, I break all the barriers when it comes to what you should or shouldn't be wearing in terms of your body type, because I don't feel like anybody should be able to dictate to you what you should be wearing based on their standards of what they enjoy or like or want to see. Maybe you wouldn't wear it, I would. So I hate the fact that maybe I walk into a room or in, into an event or something like that and um, immediately I look like I am doing a lot because eyes and stuff go straight to that part of your body. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm going to stop wearing what I'm wearing because I actually enjoy wearing the clothes that I wear. But it's just like maybe other people could just be mindful about the fact that it may it maybe it does make some women feel uncomfortable um, when they are complete. They are always asked about their boobs. They always asked about um what it's like to, to to have big boobs or they're always being stared at or like maybe it'd just be nicer if people would actually just like just be a bit more mindful about that kind of thing but anyway it was just a little rant that I wanted to have um like I said it doesn't mean that I'm going to change what, what it is that I do because I feel like it should become acceptable as a woman with big boobs I am going to have to deal with some of those things that have come along with it luckily I've had boobs for long enough to know what it is that comes along with it but yeah that was just my rant about it I probably haven't covered everything in this but I've covered as much as I could think of in this particular time I didn't want it to take too long so I really hope that you found this funny interesting educational whatever um but it was just me just a little insight into what it's like to be V, basically. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that because I love having you guys here. Um, make sure you turn on your notification bells because that's really important. And make sure you join me for my next video because I have got some more clothing hauls coming up as well. And again, I am going to be looking at and catering for women that have big boobs because that is part of my whole plan. Like just to put it in your face so much that it become you become desensitized to it
<laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Become desensitized to it because why? It's natural. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Miss V London. Bye.